Research suggests that pupils from certain demographic areas or backgrounds are statistically less likely to attend university. The Faculty of Engineering at the University of Strathclyde works directly with groups of prospective students to address this disparity, aiming to support students and help them realise their full potential. Sarah Lockett found out more. Thirteen and fourteen-year-old girls try to create a waterproof disaster relief shelter at the University of Strathclyde's Faculty of Engineering in Glasgow. It's one of a number of taster courses designed to get girls, especially from underrepresented backgrounds, into engineering. They do team-based challenge activities. They run, we run a competition so that we have a winner, give them a bit of inspiration. They meet the companies, they talk to female engineers and they go out on site visits and get an idea of what it's really like to be a professional engineer. We get huge enthusiasm from the girls. The feedback is extremely strong. I think they get a huge value from meeting each other. At the engineering faculty's open days, prospective students come to see what's on offer. It's interesting to see at this open day for all eight engineering departments of the University of Strathclyde how many girls are considering engineering as a degree option, which wouldn't have been the case even just a few years ago. But many teenagers of either sex perhaps don't consider doing a degree, so the faculty's new engineering academy is attracting students who maybe didn't think they had good enough grades or didn't think university was for them. They do an enhanced higher national certificate at one of several partner colleges for the first year, then join year two of a degree course at Strathclyde. We set it up to really widen the demographic of students coming into engineering. So this can be young people coming directly from school, but it could also be adult learners sort of returning into education. And the Engineering Academy was set up to provide a sort of alternative pathway, uh, and that pathway provides more support, so it helps them get back into education. A number of firms offer placements to Engineering Academy students, including the rail logistics company Wabtech Favely. In one particular case, it was win-win. Students spent the summer working with our teams, looking at our route cards, which are the steps in our manufacturing process, improving our efficiency on the shop floor, and actually adding value. The thing that amazes us is the confidence. They come in as the rabbits in the headlights and they go out with their with the shoulders square and understand what is ahead of them. Several companies want their employees to gain degrees while still working fully on company projects. So the faculty is now offering graduate level apprenticeships delivered mostly online where people study while they work. We all see a need for an integrated approach to um, engineering education where students learn the theory and the the practice of, of engineering, but within the context of actually doing a job. Our aim is that by the end of the program, the student will not only be able to graduate with a, a Bachelor of Engineering Honours degree, but they'll also have met all the competence requirements that allow them to be registered with the Engineering Council as an incorporated engineer. One recent graduate from the Department of Design, Manufacture and Engineering Management is Vicky Hamilton. She showed me her award-winning product, spring-loaded knee pads. The faculty has continued to back her long after graduation, and she's repaying the favour. I got a phenomenal amount of support when I started this. If it hadn't been for other people encouraging me, I probably wouldn't have had the confidence to go and do it. The Enterprise Advisor at Strathclyde gave me a phenomenal amount of encouragement to actually go and do this. So I think it's really important to come back and encourage others to follow in those footsteps because it should be like a cycle. It should like pass down from one level to the next and keep people motivated and encouraged. In this way and through many other initiatives, Strathclyde's engineering faculty is working to widen participation in the subject among sections of the population up until now underrepresented in universities.